everybody, and welcome back to... Ow, I hit my head off the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I meant to say hello, everybody. Welcome back to Animal Crossing every day. Before I hit my face against the microphone. But then, I recovered in such a way to make it seem like it was a flawless, uh, on-purpose part of the intro. That's right, I've been able to fool you this entire time. And I've gotten away with it, I believe. Yes, yes. So, here's some stuff. We got some things. Did I say we were going to go to a different time today? Because if I did, then today's special home decor is none other than the amazing train car model. What are you waiting for? And I might have lied. No, you're probably saying, what? Oh, I ordered the Regal Dressers. Finally arrived. You'd like to four of our apologies for any delayed shipping. Thank you for the order. Make my home delivery. Yes, I did order this. I wanted a place to put all my shit. I say that this early into the show. I hopefully today's intro lasted four minutes, and then that way I can say shit right now. Uh, I gotta stop. Come on, man. We gotta we gotta keep this show clean for the kids. The kids are watching this show. I don't think kids are watching this show. I don't think anybody is watching this show. So now that we've got that out of the way, I don't know if we will go to another time today. I kind of forgot to plug in or look for another memory card, so probably not. I'm going to say that right now. Probably not. Right, what can we put away? What don't we need? We've got a lot of crud right here. Um, What was this? The soup? Soup can... Oh, maybe soup can go on table. Soup go on table. It's the old adage, soup go on table. Soup do, do go on table. Amazing. Perfect. Oh, so, um, if I put the regal drawer right here, and then I can put these things in here. It's empty right now, but if I put the tickets in, I'll put my tickets in, then... It'll, it'll, it'll clear the, the floor up. It's a great idea by me. I think of my, I mean, we're, you know, we're not, we're not, uh, we're not reinventing the wheel here. We're just trying to make it look a little tidier. What day is today? Oh, we can't see it. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, tits. I put the chowder up on the, there we go. Now it's on the table. I have a clean house. Let me see what day it is because on the 31st of January, we got to cash those tickets in, motherfucker. 24th. All right. Uh, oh, free pitfall, forever finds it. I don't want one, I've already got one. I don't need another one. I have too many pitfalls. I don't use them. Pitfalls are mean. They're very unkind for the people. What they do is others fall into the pitfalls. And they fall under eggs. And they look as uh, silly. And I don't like it uh, when they look as uh, silly. No, I don't. That's kind of what Tom Nook's voice used to sound like. He used to sound a little more like Ewan Phillips, but now he just kind of sounds like, Hello, I'm Tom Nook, what's going on over here? Like that, that's what he sounds like. Oh, wow, look at this one. Is this a drawer? Exotic Bureau. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it, Bur Bureau. All right, 31st of January. So we have four tickets with that one. That's perfect. That means that one more ticket, then we'll have four goes. It's a raffle, and then it's a raffle. We're gonna win the raffle. There's gotta be something good in the raffle. Otherwise, it wouldn't hold it. That's my surmising of the situation. We don't have a whole lot of money anymore. Well, we, I mean, it depends on how you look at it. Am I becoming everything I hated? I'm talking about, we don't have a whole lot of money, but I'm like, I've got 56,000 bells. Remember, we started this thing, we only had like, 50 bells or whatever. You know, I might be coming like a billionaire that's like, I gotta afford all my money. To, uh, just in case you don't know what's going to happen around the corner. Maybe I am being a bit hypocritical. Maybe I should just send all my money away to the to the Tom Nook. When the clock hits 1900, I can't wait to chow down. Are you chowing down on me? What are you doing? Are you trying to eat me? Because if you're trying to eat me, I accept! Come and eat me! Eat, chew on me! Eat my cheeks! My face cheeks, that is. 
Although, if you wanted to go down the stairs a little bit, I don't know if I would be that bothered. We'll have to try it to, just to see whether or not I'd like it. I think I might like it, but we'll, we'll, we'll try it. We'll see how it goes. We'll do a trial run. Get away from my money, you little bitch. I uh, really am becoming one of those guys, aren't I? I'm like, get out of this is my money! I mined it out of my own pocket. I used my own shovel for this. I did this. You can't have any. I have to give it to the raccoon tanuki. My goodness. Is this what it's like being Jeff Bezos? I don't know if I like it. I'm gonna have to reevaluate myself and my lifestyles. Look at this, 60,000 bells. My goodness. And I'm so complacent with it. I'm so blase. I'm like, I gotta keep, I have to keep my 60,000 bells. Are you kidding me? People would kill for 60,000 bells. And here I am, just rubbing it around in everybody's face. Making it very clear that I have 60,000 bells and nobody else does. And I care not. I care not one single jot. No, I don't. Not even a little bit bothered about the fact that I have all the cash. I am the one with the cashola. Hi there, Explody. What have you been up to? Will you tell me what you've been up to and I'll tell you what I've been up to. I've been ruminating on my own morality and the fact that... I might slowly be turning into the thing that I hate the most. How are you doing? Wow, thanks, Mitzi. Mitzi, usually you're more fun than that, Mitzi. I'm a little disappointed. But I guess she could see. She's like, oh, I don't want to talk to this big fucking billionaire guy. Look at this, Billy Boots. Gotta get out of here. I'm not having this. She can see it. She See, Mitzi's smart. She understands me. She knows that I was changing for the worse, and I'm like, I don't like that. Alright, this one's not working, but this one is working, so that's interesting. These are pear trees, by the way, in case you missed yesterday's episode. That's what I mean by working and not working. This this one is growing. This this one is growing, and this one is not growing. So I'll have to do something about that. But at least two pear trees is better than no pear trees. Hello, it's little Ricky. Hello, are you drinking chowder? Yeah, let's have a game. I don't explain the rules. So cards, one's the lucky card, and then there's a so-so card and the bad card. Garbage can, oh my god, I don't want a garbage can. Don't pick the unlucky card. I don't want to have to pay money to fucking Ricky though, this is bullshit. He's a bad man. I saw him outside yesterday and he, he was dragging something behind him and it, the so-so card, oh god, I have to pay him for a garbage can. He was dragging something behind him when he threw it in the dumpster. And the thing he threw in the dumpster went, oh, when he threw it in. And then he, he like, he like dusted his hands off like, like that. And then he walked back into his house and started smoking a cigar. And I'm like, ah, what's he up to? What's Ricky up to? Is he up to something? Now I was like, should I go and check and see what it is he threw into the, the dumpster? I wanted to, I really did, but then on the other hand, I was like, I don't want to go anywhere near Ricky. You know what I mean? He's that kind of guy. He's a bit of a mobster. You know what I mean? He's uh, He's got connections. People you don't want to mess with, you know what I mean? People like you normally would mess with ordinarily, but then you realize they're in like some kind of mafia and they're like, oh fuck, now this guy's in control? This sucks ass, you know what I mean? One of those guys. One of these guys who are like, oh, he shouldn't be in charge. Then they're in charge anyway, and you're like, oh man, I didn't pay for this. I didn't sign on for this. What can I throw this? Is that gonna work? I guess not. What's happening here? Too many trees! This is bullshit. Come on, man. Okay, this one can go up here. We're busy, we're snowballing. Man, come on, gotta get this right. We, we need some more snowman material. Yeah, boy! Many thanks, Explodey. Well, I can't say that this is exactly the shape I'm so before I guess I'll take what I can get. Here's to your next effort. Oh, he's not gonna give me a present because I fucked it up. Snowman? Why you gotta be that way? Who do I have to go see? Billy? I've forgotten. I've forgotten. I'll go see Billy. I will, I will go and see Billy. We, oh, we should see what the garbage can looks like, should we? 
I have a sneaky suspicion. I think I know what it's going to look like. It's going to look like a garbage can. But let's check it out anyway. Um, well, let's see if we can put stuff in the drawer. Yes, I can. Yes. Oh, that's perfect. Well, let's take a look at the garbage can. Yeah, that's garbage, all right. So what do we put him down here? I'm gonna put some of the jingaloids in there that we couldn't fit anywhere else. Um, hmm. I do have a lot of shit, dude. I mean, you really do. I mean, it's getting silly. If I take him out, mm, is this gonna work? I put some of these gingoids in. Oh, you can't put stuff in? Uh-oh. You know, you put like... That can't be right. I can only put this stuff in? Oh, no. Well, how else am I supposed to store my stuff? I have so much stuff, man. Oh, I really am turning into like everything I hate. Look at all the stuff I own. I can't sell it. I have to hoard it. I have to keep it forever and ever. This ain't good. This ain't good at all, man. Something's gonna have to change. Something's gonna have to change. Oh, I can't even get to the toilet now. I'm gonna have to change something. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sell these game boys. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Executive decision. Um, oops. I gotta do it, man. I got too many Gingoys. I gotta sell them. I gotta do something with this. I'm also selling the garbage can because who cares about that? We're still like, we're not even close to paying off our thing, though. Even if I gave all of my money right now, I would still not even be halfway to finish paying off the money. Which sucks, but it is what it is. I already need these gingoids, so I don't need them. Like, I have them, but I don't, and there's no purpose for them. Other than to collect them. So, like, I already have a ton of them anyway. So, let's just sell them. Garbage can. I paid 1,000 bells for that, and I sold it for 100 bells. That is disappointing. 800. Alright, see, now we're making, now we're making some cash. I'm still dying. Significantly. Let's see, 800, are they all 828? That's perfect, because then I can really make some money this way. 828, yeah, I wonder what the last one's gonna be. I hope it's 827, that'd be funny. Let's see, 828, okay. All right, so you see, we're making moves. We're trying to change. You know, my house is a tip, but I'm trying to make it better. Trying to become a better person. Slowly but surely, baby steps. So we gotta go find Billy. We're gonna do that, we're gonna find Billy. And then after that, we're gonna pay off some of the debt. And hopefully, we'll be okay. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't think we will be properly okay. I'll talk to Quackers, yeah. Hi, is it possible you're avoiding me? It's certainly possible, but is it plausible? It also is that thing. Oh, she's lying to me. Well, you're fired. You lied to your superior, and now I'm going to have to push you down the stairs. I'm sorry, it sounds harsh, but it's the only way. Hello, Tom, how are you? I hope you're good. No, he's already good, that's fine. You see, you're a good boy, Tom. You've already established everything you need to. You know what you're doing, you're on the right track. Me, I just walk around aimlessly, hoping for stuff to do. But Tom, he's got his head screwed up properly. He's a good man. He's a good man. Mmm, right there. I don't see Billy. This is this is typical. This has happened before. Uh, where I've looked for Billy and I can't find him. So let's forget him. Who needs Billy when you've got roller skates? Let me just put my roller skates. Oh no, I don't have roller skates. Maybe I do need Billy after all. Car. That's the noise I make whenever I'm like 
disappointed. Arr! Don't don't worry about it. If you don't understand, oh look at this! I got rid of the Gingoids, and now I've got another Gingoid. I do like the idea of a Mega Freakoid, though. I gotta check what that's like. Um, I wonder if there's anything in here I can sell. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh no, he's catching me! I'll just go back up here. You know, you see here. It's not gonna come. Hey, what came up the right side? I didn't expect that. Oh, he's a tricky sausage. Yeah, I, 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 run you considerably, young man. I wonder what age that guy is. I wonder how much that guy weighs. Probably not much. He looks like he's light as a feather. An extremely heavy feather. One of those, like, metal feathers, you know? <laughs> like a Skarmory feather. But, like, times four gravity. I think I made myself clear on that one. No, no need to uh, elaborate whatsoever. I don't see a whole lot of um, fossils around either. Oh, says the man as he walks right past one. I got it. Yes, I did. I have it in my hands. I'm going to throw it out of the biscuits. Oh, yeah. I was like, we got... Did we get more than that? But one of them was the Game Boy, so that's fine. I guess we'll just post him then. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. So that's pretty cool. Oh, it's Gladys again. Hello, Gladys. I love your lipstick. Now you tell me something you like about me. My hat? Well, I gotta say, Gladys, it is nice. Um, I didn't expect anybody to compliment on, on my hat, but I'll take it. I also like your, your weird haircut where you have like three hairs kind of scooped over to the side and no other hair. The Tyson Kid. It's a classic haircut. Uh, we've got no more letters, but we will. what we're going to do, watch this, man. We're going to blow everybody out of the fucking water. We are going to pay off my debt to Tom Nook. 145,000 bells. All right, well, here's what we're gonna do. Watch this. It's 145,000, so we can we can pay 45, easy. And then what's the rest? I don't, what else do I have? Three, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at that. See, we actually changed our ways. We're not being a little screwed to keep our money for no reason. We're paying off all that money. We've got 17,000 in the, in the bank and we still owe 100,000. This is, this is impossible. Oh, it's gonna take so long. But hey man, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, and we're doing that. We're doing that. We're, we're, we're doing the impossible. We're changing little by little. And we're gonna be better than we ever were before. So let me look at what this this free coin looks like. If it's a good one, I might keep it. Yeah, I know. Even after I just made some room, but whatever. Shut up. Let me see what it looks like. I, dark blue. He does look kind of fun. What else can I sell? What else can I sell? This. Maybe in this. Oh, that guy in the corner. Is that? Hang on. Is that what I just, what I just picked up? No, it's different. I do like him though. I think he's funny. I want to keep him. I've got so many, man. I've got so much stuff. I need to get. This is ridiculous. I need to get. Um... Wait. Wait. I thought I could hear him. There's someone else. Are you sure I don't have him already? Mm. Alright, I don't know what to do with that. I'm gonna maybe sell the CD player and maybe sell the Fizzoid. I'll keep... Yeah, I'll sell them right now, actually. Just to get them out of the way. Just to get the clutter out. I'm trying, man. It's hard when you've got a big house and so much shit to put in it. I'm gonna have to, like, really renovate. Oh, one other thing I might do 
is to get the the big nuke house to 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 improve um, Tom Nuke's place. You have to have somebody else come and shop in that shop. So whenever we get the other village that we're going to, we're gonna get that main guy to come over and buy something out of the shop, and then that way we can improve our shopping capabilities, which I think would be a good idea. Well, not much, man. We got just over a thousand for that, but every little helps. Ain't that the truth? Well, well, well. The thing is, though, because today in Almacross it is the twenty fourth. It usually takes a day for that to work. I'm really worried about if I do this. Typically, knowing my luck, the um, the day that it renovates will be like the thirty first of January, which I don't want because. I need to send these raffle tickets off. I need to I need to spend these raffle tickets at the raffle. So maybe leave, we'll leave it a couple more days before we go to a new town. But so we're getting very close. No, we can still go to a new town. Yeah, I think we can still go to a new town. So well, well, we're gonna go to a new town tomorrow. That's what we'll do. Yes, it'll be amazing. Um, so check out tomorrow. We'll definitely go to a new town tomorrow. I promise. And uh, so you gotta check out that show. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm not good at outros, man. But thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. So goodbye. <laughs>